Hello and welcome to Droix. We have been wanting to do this for a long time, but simply did not have the time and new handouts were announced, so it kept being delayed. But we have finally got all the current Windows gaming handouts around for a big benchmark party. You are all invited, so keep watching. We will be benchmarking the following gaming handholds. GPD WinMax, Intel and AMD models. 1X Player 1S, i5 and i7. Both 1X Player AMD models. 1X Player Mini, Ioneo 2021 and 2021 Pro. The Ioneo Next. And last but not least, the GPD Win3 i5, along with both i7, 1165 and 1195 G7 models. We have updated all of the devices to the latest Windows, along with their respective Intel and AMD graphics drivers. All devices are tested at the same resolution as each other to keep a fair comparison and all devices are tested with the same TDPs of 11, 20 or 35 watts. You can go higher, but you run the risk of overeating or other issues. And as you will see, there's not a major performance increase in some cases. So we are keeping them to a reasonable TDP. Also, please like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You would not believe how long this video has taken to make, starting from updating the handhelds to Windows 11, installing all the software, repeating the benchmarks at different TDPs, and then multiplying that by 12 additional handhelds. Your likes, subscribes and shares helps grow this channel, and that means we could do more videos like this. With all that said, let's get started with the benchmarks. We start off with PC Mark and are testing at 1280x800 resolution with a 20W TDP. PC Mark gives a good overview of the PC's performance with a variety of tasks. These include software loading speed, web browsing, working with large documents and image editing. We have up to 25% difference in performance between the models. The 1X Player i5 scores lowest with 4464, and the Ioneo Next scoring the highest. The scores are around what we expected, with the majority of the devices scoring in the late 4 to early 5000 area. For 3D Mark, we are testing at 4K resolution via output to a monitor. This is because 3 Mark can be a bit fussy when it comes to changing resolutions and we want to test each device at the same resolution. This will give us a fair comparison between the models as their native resolutions range from 1280x720 up to 2560x1600. We tested at 11, 20 and 35 watts TDP. This gives us an opportunity to see how the changes affect the CPU and GPU working together at different profiles. There's a massive 56% difference between the Ioneo 2021 with the lowest score and the One X Player Mini with the highest. We can see that the AMD base models score well at 11 and 20 watts TDP, but at 35 watts the scores do not scale up as well as the Intel models. At 35 watts the Intel models are higher performing. Even the i5 models are just beating the AMD based Ioneo Next. For Forza Horizon 5, we are running at 1280x800 resolution on the very low graphic settings. And we are testing at 11, 20 and 35 watts TDP. We have seen in our previous videos that the AMD processors perform excellent on this game compared to the Intel processors. And now we can see all the models tested together. There's a large difference of 39% between the lowest and highest scoring models, the One X Player i5 and the Ioneo Next respectively. The i5 models do struggle in this game, but the i7s do far better with up to 16 frames per second increase. The AMD models see overall higher scores across the three different TDPs. 
The extra boost in performance likely comes from the additional CPU threads. We are testing a 1280x800 resolution maximum graphics quality on 11, 20 and 35 watts TDP for Street Fighter V. This game is locked to a maximum of 60 FPS so we can see which devices hit that target at roughly which TDP. We run the first match of the benchmark and see the average FPS at the end of it. All of the Intel based devices hit the 60 FPS limit at either 20 or 35 watts, with the One X Player Mini nearly reaching 60 at 11 watts, which is very impressive. The AMD based models struggle to reach 60, even at 35 watts TDP, with the Ion EO Next scoring the highest of them with 58.5 FPS. Next, we are benchmarking Final Fantasy XIV at 1280x800 resolution on the highest desktop settings, with 11, 20 and 35 watts TDP. This is a good test, which brings up some interesting results. There's a score difference of nearly 50% between the Ion Neo 2021 and the One X Player Mini, which is massive. We can see at 11 watts TDP the AMD based models score far higher than Intel's, over double in some cases. At 20 watts TDP they are both in the same ballpark area, with the Intel's slightly ahead. But at 35 watts we can see that the Intel based models have a far larger increase in performance than the AMD. And last but not least, we are benchmarking Shadow of the Tomb Raider, running at 1280x800 resolution on the lowest graphic settings, with 11, 20 and 35 watt TDP. There's a 26% difference between the Ion Neo 2021 and the One X Player Mini, with a 15 frames per second higher score, but overall the devices generally score in the late 50s area. Again, at 11 watts, the AMD models perform better than Intel's, and at 20 watts, they are roughly on par. On 35 watts, for the most part, there are smaller increases across the board, with the Win3 and the WinMax 1195G7 models seeing the largest increase. We did some quick scoring from 1 to 13 points for the lowest to highest places in each benchmark in TDP. Here are the final results. At 11 watts TDP, the AMD based devices make up most of the top of the table. The Dark Horse is the GPD WinMax 2021, just stealing the lead from the Ion Neo 2021 Pro, followed up by the Ion Neo Next and One X Player AMD models. The bottom half is made up of mainly Intel based devices. At 20 watts, there is more of a mix of Intel and AMD devices across the board. The Ion Neo Next takes first place with a decent gap between it and the One X Player Mini. There is a larger gap between second and third place and a considerable gap between third and fourth. The AMD based devices overall perform better at 20 watts, which is the default TDP for most devices. At 35 watts TDP is where the tables are flipped when compared to 11 watts, with Intel based devices having a clear lead in terms of performance. The Intel processors perform great at 35 watts and scale up very well with the extra power, whereas the AMD based devices see relatively little performance increase from 20 watts to 35. So what can we take away from these results? The Ion Neo Next and One X Player Mini are both excellent performing devices. There are, however, some factors that we do need to consider. The first is optimization. In particular, how well is a game made for the Intel or AMD processors? For example, on Forza Horizon 5, AMD blows Intel away, but on Final Fantasy XIV, Intel overall does much better. Some games may be optimised for one brand rather than another. They can potentially be demanding more CPU or GPU performance or taking advantage of more CPU threads on a AMD for example. This also extends to the TDP. 
We can see overall that the Intel based devices have higher performance at 35 watts compared to AMD. The increase can be massive and definitely gives you that extra edge for more performance. For low and medium TDP, AMD is what you want, and for the highest TDP, then Intel is ideal. But do take into consideration that the higher the TDP, the more battery power is used. Next are the graphics drivers, mainly the issue that the Intel drivers currently suck. To keep it fair, we used the latest drivers for both devices, but we did run into some issues on the latest Intel drivers. Each update seems to fix one thing and break another. In an ideal world, we could pick and choose the best drivers for each benchmark and game to get the best performance. Whereas, the AMD drivers just seem to work. We haven't really seen any issues over the past several months of different updates in comparison. So either the AMD based Ioneo Next or the Intel based One X Player Mini should be the two on your list to consider. Both are excellent devices, each with their own pros and cons in terms of performance which we have highlighted. Let us know in the comments which one you would pick and why. That wraps up our handheld benchmark comparison, we hope you found it useful. Please drop a like and subscribe if you have not already, it really helps grow the channel and we can continue making these videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you back in the next one.